Well, hey folks, and welcome to Solar Cabin Channel. It is an absolutely gorgeous morning here. Uh, we got a little rainstorm last night, uh, and I mentioned in my last video that we've had a lot of high cloud cover and that's been affecting my output on my solar panels uh, and so now that it's rained those clouds have moved on my solar panels are back up to maximum production but I was also going to show you because I put up a couple of extra panels to run my swamp cooler because it's been so hot uh, I was just going to show you a very simple way uh, that you can make your own uh, brackets mounting these uh, so that you can adjust them for when it's really high in the summer and also get your early morning sun and your late evening sun so let me show you you that okay so that's this is about as easy as it comes these are a couple of old uh, polycrystalline panels that I had in my old system and I decided to pull them out of storage I'm using them to run my swamp cooler uh, and recharge some batteries here while I've got uh, so much extra Sun and so uh, what I've done is you can see that they're they're tipped towards the morning Sun my morning Sun is coming from that direction over there and so I want to get the early morning Sun as soon as possible in the daytime and then during the daytime the Sun is going to be up almost straight above them so what I've got here is just I've just took a couple of old boards okay and I've just propped them up against the panels uh, for Sun in the morning and that way I just come out here and prop them up and uh, takes two seconds to prop them up and that gets me maximum Sun in the uh, early morning and then in the afternoon when the Sun gets straight up I will just pull those prop boards out and lay these panels flat down on the ground then for about four or five hours during the brightest part of the day uh, the Sun is directly shining down on them flat and then I just move those prop boards over to the other side angle them the other way to get the evening sunlight so that way I only have to move them uh, twice a day and uh, that way I get the uh, maximum amount of sunlight all through the su all through the day uh, when I could use the extra power to uh, run things like a swamp cooler and uh, recharging e-bikes and tools and things like that now I also have these uh, two 100 watt panels uh, mounted to a small trailer that I had and uh, this also works so that I can tilt these panels so you can see I've got them tilted towards the morning sunlight uh, to get as much of the morning sunlight as possible and then I just remove that uh, stake right there tilt this down uh, so that I get all the afternoon and the evening sun so this again is a good mounting system uh, if you just have a couple of panels uh, that you're using for off-grid or maybe on-grid if you're using them for an emergency backup system something like this is easy to make and, and uh, really get you the most uh, out of your solar panels and in fact this 200 watt system here because I can uh, position it so it's getting sunlight all of the time, all the day, uh, it actually produces as much as my 400 watt systems, which you can see out there. Because those are stationary mount and can't be changed in the way they're angled uh, in their placement. They're set to that position. Uh, I, I actually get as much out of that 200 watt trailer system right there as I get out of one of my 400 watt systems simply by being able to adjust the angle uh, so that I can get the sunlight all day long. So consider that when you're uh, mounting your panels. Like that. All right, real simple braces made out of just some old uh, wood uh, that you can use on a couple of panels if you have them uh, for uh, boosting up your system power in summer. Okay, hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great day.